Welcome to part 13 of the Grumman 2 teardrop series. Uh, we just completed the axle and wheels and coupler, adding them to the frame and positioning them under the floor. Now I moved the frame, I did not move the floor because the floor, if you remember, is in position with the rest of the side. So we'll go ahead and throw the sides on there and the bulkhead and the outer shell and the hatch and now the right side. And there you go, you got a complete trailer. Um, what we'll do now is go ahead and click all that and move it around. And you can see it's uh, all separate components. We can go ahead and make that one big group now. Uh, so then we'll go ahead and position this uh, relative to the axis. You always want things on the axis as much as possible or close to the axis. Uh, that's important when you're sharing stuff on or on the warehouse, 3D warehouse. <coughs> and we'll zoom in here and we'll look at it. Uh, as, you, as you notice, uh, this wood, I can go ahead and uh, paint this part white or color it white. So you have to click on it to open up the main group. And now click on the floor to open up that group. We'll go ahead and close that. Now this color selector, instead of finding white each time, you can click on this. And we know this, this other part is white, so we'll click on that. And then there you go. And then we know the back, or same thing. We'll color the back. And uh, that's that. Let's go ahead and get rid of that profile level. We won't get rid of it. We'll just hide it. And click outside the group. And then there you go. There is the trailer. Now the neat thing about having it all white like that, um, again I told you uh, earlier it's good to have it all one color, and here's the reason. If you go back to the color, which I know it's white, it's the white one, and if you're not sure you can always do the eyedropper, but click on that and then go to edit. No, it's not going to do it, so let me click on that. There we go. Now the edit, but if you see the opacity here, um, this is solid, but as you drag this down, you can start seeing into inside of it. And there you go, you can see inside of it. And then again, you can drag it around. Now, like I said, I'm using my center mouse wheel, but you can go over here and same thing, and click on this, and then regular mouse click and, and drag it around. But you can see it from all different sides now, and uh, you can see it's a pretty clean model. Now we can go in and do other things, um, and I'll save that for other uh, for a later video. But we can go ahead and cut holes in here. It's just a matter of uh, getting rid of the outer walls, and say maybe the shell, and then you can go in and lay out grids and and push pull or lay out lines and push pull and create openings. You can put uh, components in the back uh, off the warehouse like a Coleman gas stove or cooler. I would, would advise against putting them in there too much um, because it makes uh, the file fairly large and it takes a long time for your some computers to process the image. So uh, let's go ahead and go back. I'm going to go ahead and put the shell back on it. Let's make it darker. And there you go. Uh, and that will work with all the colors, the transparency part, it, whichever color you want. I just like to put white on there and let people imagine what they want. Um, we'll go ahead and do some uh, fenders, just some simple rounded fenders. I will show you how to make them in the next video series. Um, and that will be pretty good. We can use the Follow Me tool. It's, it's a pretty neat tool. So that will be the next thing I do, and uh, so I'll see you on the next video.